Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I want to share with you a new product that I came across recently. Uh, I don't do a lot of gear reviews on my channel, uh, but apparently if you get 6,000 subs, that's the magic number where kind of everyone comes out of the woodwork asking you to review their product. Now, I'm not going to, you know, start belching out a million of them, but uh, some of the products have been kind of interesting, so there's going to be some of that stuff coming up. And one of the ones that I, I thought was really one of the best things that I've been sent is this uh, headlamp. This is the Through Night TH20 headlamp. And what I think is great about this is the fact that I already had a headlamp that I was really happy with. It's I've been having the uh, Streamlight Argo in my you know, EDC pack. And I've been totally happy with this. Works great. You know, you know, seems well built and just easy to use and everything. Had no problems with that whatsoever. But this has just replaced it because this one, uh, while they both cost about $30, I feel that this one uh, is really superior to the, uh, the Streamlight in a lot of ways. Uh, first off, you know, in terms of brightness, I'm not like, like a lumens hound where I'm you know, I'm always looking for the most powerful flashlight because honestly, most of the time when you're using a flashlight, it's dark out and having a super, super powerful flashlight isn't really what you're looking for most of the time because, you know, you, you usually, I'm, for me anyway, when I'm, you know, camping or something like that and I'm outside, I just need a little bit of light. You know, I just need to see something. Maybe I, I need to plug something in or I'm looking for something in a bag. I don't need like this gigantic spotlight torch. Uh, and Honestly, if you use something that's super, super bright like that, it ruins your night vision. I know with the uh, the stream light, uh, it was a couple clicks to go from the, the first click turns into the brightest setting and then down, down, down to some lower settings. Every time I turn this thing on, it's click, click, click to bring it down to the lowest setting. And uh, the nice thing about this thing is that it can be bright like the, uh, like the stream light. In fact, I'll show you right now that it's, it's complete, you know, there you go. It's like, ah, oh, it's just blinding me. By the way, you know, if you ever see stuff on YouTube or anywhere, anything photographed like this, it's like, oh my goodness, it's so blinding. You can't even, even see, but so much, I'm just going to change the iris on the camera right now. It's like, oh no, it's, it's actually kind of dim, you know? So it's like, you really can't tell from a photograph how bright something is because this is, I didn't change anything on the, on the light at all. I just changed the settings on the camera and it goes from that to, ah, Oh, look at it it's so bright you know so uh you know just don't tend to trust that stuff when photographs if you see someone holding a flashlight and it seems to just be bathing a gigantic forest in light there's i'm a i'm a, I'm a professional photographer there's a lot you can do you can make a forest look like it's bathed in light just using star and moonlight so you know uh, yeah there are some tricks there but uh but that said i i don't really care that much about light output in general anyway, because almost all the time when I'm using this stuff, I don't want a giant super, you know, mega torch. I want just a little bit of light. And this thing is really good at doing that. And not only does it not ruin your, your night vision, because when you turn on a really bright light, when you're out at night, it takes your eyes a, a while to recover from, you know, you know, adjusting to that really bright light. And once you turn it off, you're like blind for a while. Um, uh, not only does it avoid that situation, but it also makes the batteries last a lot longer. This thing here, I'm going to hold it down and it's got this really low power mode. This is super useful for when you're in the dark and you want to just be able to see something And here. In fact, here's a, a shot that I recorded of it, uh, uh, you know, just in a dark area. So you can see it's totally adequate for, you know, the kind of stuff that you're usually wanting to do, finding out how to plug something in, you know, reading some instructions or looking for something in a bag. This flashlight here does that really, really well. It's also waterproof and like impact proof. And I, I, they've done some, a bunch of tests where they like ran over it with a car or some crazy stuff like that. I don't get all that nuts about those kind of things. It's like really how, how often does your gear get run over by a car or an elephant or a rhinoceros or whatever. But I did take it and like, you know, threw it against some rocks. I'm gonna turn it on here. It's, it's on here. And um, well, at first you just start by dropping it. Now I'll throw it down a little bit. And it's still working. And maybe it goes up against some rocks. And it's still working. And what if you're like into like hiking, mountain climbing, maybe you're up high. And still going. Maybe you're climbing even higher. And it turned off, but it can turn back on. Okay, cool. And I don't know, we'll do like one hard throw right there.
Okay. All right, well, that one did it. I threw it against that rock pretty hard. It, uh, the screen, uh, the uh, glass here cracked and a lot of damage around the edge here. I mean, largely the whole thing's still intact, but it's not turning on anymore. So I guess that was about it. But honestly, that was a second take of me doing this kind of throw thing. The first time, uh, you know, a couple of times when I threw it up and out of shot, it didn't land in, in shot. Uh, so, you know, I, I did it again. So all in all, this thing was probably thrown up against this rock over here reasonably hard about you know, a dozen times or so, and that's not bad performance. I mean, it really only failed when it got, you know, really thrown against there really hard. And, you know, largely speaking, if you're dropping stuff, it's not going to hit with that much force unless, you know, you're mountain climbing and it falls off the mountain like a really far distance down there. So still, I'm really pleased with the way that this thing worked out. I kind of feel bad that I threw it that hard because I like this product and, and um, you know, I, I don't think that my other headlamp could have taken that because it's all made out of plastic. But uh, yeah, it held up pretty well right up until the very end when I just really wailed it against there, you know, with these, with these right here, you know, Praxis the muscle man. So uh, it seems like it's a really well-made product. And one of the other things I like about it is that where is my, uh, my Streamlight Argo? took three AAA batteries to work. This thing does everything that it does with just one AA battery. I like AA batteries uh, because they, they last a little longer than a AAA, you know, all things being equal. Check this out. It works again. I, I just kind of opened it up and kind of jiggled things back together. Like maybe just something got a little, you know, unseated or something like that on the inside, but even after getting thrown up against the rock like that, I mean, the, the glass is still cracked, but the thing works. And it, it goes through all the different cycles. I, I, I checked it does the low power and strobe and everything. That's really impressive <laughs> that the thing's still uh, still ticking after all that. The only thing I, I did to it is I, because the glass was cracked, I just took some shoe goo, which is kind of one of my favorite glues, and I just smeared shoe glue across the top. So there weren't any pieces of glass actually falling out, but just as a precaution, so I don't have like broken glass kicking around the house or anything. I just did that to kind of glue the whole thing together and hold together. But man, it survived that and kept going. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and you know, they're really easy to find all the time. It's like, if you're ever in anywhere that sells batteries, they may not have triple A's, but they always have double A's. So it's just, it's a really easy battery to find. I mean, triple A's aren't all that difficult to find either, but it's like, if you're gonna find anything, double A's are just really ubiquitous, really easy to come across. And um, it's, it's, whereas this other thing, if I wanted to pack extra batteries for that, I have to bring three extra batteries or six extra batteries. And instead with this one, it's just, I bring one battery, one extra battery or two extra batteries. So I really like that, uh, that part about it. It's also waterproof to about six feet. Um, uh, you know, I'm not planning on dumping it in water, but that just makes you feel good if it's out in the rain that you know that it's like, it's totally good. You're totally covered. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, in terms of the price, it's about $30, which puts it on par with a lot of the other like decent quality headlamps. Uh, and, uh, Really happy with that. Not often do I uh, get something new to test that uh, ends up kicking some of my old gear out, you know, because I've, it's been a while with me kind of putting my pack together and everything like that. And, uh, you know, usually I'm pretty happy with what I have, but but this thing is all that the other one was and a few more things. Oh, uh, one other thing I should mention, it has this neat little mode. Well, two other things I should mention. In terms of the light output, I'm just gonna, uh, here, like there's the brightest. And if I hold down on it, you can see that it cycles through and then tells me now it's at the lowest setting. So I could let go and it'll be at the lowest setting. And if I start holding on down on it again, it'll go back up to the brightest setting and then start flashing, letting me know now that it's at its brightest setting. And I can ah, be blinded by it. Uh, that's a cool feature. And another feature that it has is that it can it can be used to uh, send SOS, visual SOS signals. Uh, and and all, of the, all the functions are just through this button. It's just a series of like quick clicks or double clicks or, or you know, press and hold kind of thing. It comes with all the literature that tells you how to do all that stuff. But you can set this thing up so that it can send out a visual SOS. And that could be a real lifesaver if this was in your pack and you couldn't like stay in one place, like constantly seeing if someone is coming to rescue you because you like, you know, take care of yourself and everything. You could set this thing up and, you know, around a tree or something like that and just have it going in some direction, flashing out constant autonomous SOS signals. And that could, I mean, it's not, doesn't take much imagination to realize how that could totally save your life, you know, 
It's not going to come up that, that frequently, but if you needed something like that, that's really cool. And it just coded right into this thing. And uh, I think that's really great. So awesome product, the Thrunite TH20. If you're looking for a headlamp, this is really the best one I've come across so far. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.